from CallYourMusic.com and today is another one of our instructional videos with Sonar. This video is being exclusively prepared for Brooke Hansen of the Prog Rock Orchestra. Brooke and I are going to be performing on with the rest of the Prog Rock Orchestra on the Moody Blues Cruise and the Yes Headlining Cruise to the Edge in April of this year and we're just working on some programming. I'm in New York, Brooke's in Las Vegas and so we're just getting some work done via distance with these videos. So, this video is about how to use your Arturia Key Lab within Sonar. You can run the Arturia Analog Lab as a standalone instrument or you can use it as a plugin. Here's how we do it. We have Sonar open. I don't have anything in it. It's a blank screen. I'm going to go over here and click Edit Preferences. So over here we have Edit Preferences. And if we have audio devices, I have M-Track Qua. This is the same. I'm using the same M-Audio box that Brooke has so that the video looks congruent with what he's using. And then we have under MIDI devices, there's my Keylab 61. I could check the M-Track if I had any MIDI going in or out of that, but I don't. So we'll just leave it with the Keylab 61. We'll have apply. Okay, and then close. Okay, so all of our devices are connected and they appear to be working correctly. I'm going to go over here to insert. Audio track, MIDI track, soft synth. Now, I'm running Sonar X3. Brooke is running Sonar X1, but these are all basically the same. You probably have a list here. It probably looks similar to something like this. Soft synth. I don't think you have VST3 and Sonar X1. And here's some DirectX plugins. Actually, Brooke will just have one giant list, and he'll have the Cakewalk TTS1, Cyclone, Pentagon, Sign, Rolling Groove, Synth, RXP. And then I've got, uh, I also have the Arturia uh, Analog, the, the V collection. So I have all, all these tons of synths and stuff. But all you do is you go right here to Analog Lab. Okay, so it's Insert Soft Synth Analog Lab. Click that. Um, and leave these soft synth options. Yes, you want to have a MIDI source track. You want the synth track folder. You want the first synth audio output. And you want to open the synth property page. So just have your screen look like this. Click OK. And you got to wait a minute because it's kind of a big program. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to load. You can see the little thing spooling around while it loads up stuff. As, as you, you know, I have this McCafferty virus scan. I'm just going to close, get rid of that. Okay, still still loading. It takes a second. It's a big program. The Arturia uh, Analog Lab that comes with the Key Lab 49 and 61, and I believe it's the same thing that comes with the Key Lab 25. It has 5,000 sounds. It's a big program. Uh, so as you can see, it's just it just takes a minute. So if you think that your computer's glitching or something, it may not be glitching. It may just be taking a moment to load. Um, and we'll just sit here all the thing scrolls see if you even saw it said not responding but now it's back to responding so uh, <coughs> and if this looks bad we may have to oh there it goes see it just sometimes you just have to be patient and wait sometimes it takes a minute to load especially the first time you're doing this so there's the key lab all right now I'm gonna minimize that track and right here, here's the here's the track folder for that instrument. Here's the audio output, and here is the MIDI output. Now, if I go over here to these tabs, this is this view is called the track view. This view in the bottom is called the mixer view because we're going to have mixer sliders. Over here on the left, this is called the inspector, and over here on the right, this is called the browser. So here's the little browser tabs: media, plugins, and synth. And there's our analog lab right there. Now I'm going to reach over. You're not going to hear the sound because of the way that this video is recording. I'm, I'm going to play. Okay, I'm going to expand. If you right here next to the VU meter, if you click those drop down arrows, and I'm going to split, oh, move this down a little bit. If you do that, you can pull this down a little bit and open that up a little bit. And there's the MIDI input. Now, why I'm not seeing an audio output right now, I don't know. We should be seeing an audio output, but let's see custom let's go to in out and that has the m track quad driver come on it's being a little sluggish tonight not sure why sometimes computers just are do these things why this doing that i'm not sure i'll have to troubleshoot that later i need to do that in this video but we should be seeing something here and we should be hearing something we should be having an audio output so i'm not sure why 
Um, I'll have to troubleshoot that later. But Analog Lab is in, and we have MIDI data coming in. I'll do some troubleshooting, and we'll get back to you on our next video. But we're in, and you can do that as many times as you need to. Okay, so that's how you do it.